The order for the other evening prayer is found on page 21 of the Book of Common Prayer. Watch ye, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Last coming suddenly, he finds you sleeping. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have heard and strayed from thy ways like one sheep. We have fathered too much the vices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable vendors. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent. According to thy promises, declare to mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant our most merciful Father for his sake that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, a member of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Praise you, the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Please be seated. The poet of the Psalter appointed for the evening of Ember Wednesday begins with Psalm 24, found on page 368 of the Book of Common Prayer. 368. The earth is the Lord's and all that therein is, the compass of the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall rise up in his holy place? Even he that hath clean hands and a pure heart, and that hath not uplifted up his mind unto vanity, nor sworn to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. Even of them that seek thy face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord strong and mighty, even the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Even, Even the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The Psalter continues with Psalm 26, found on page 370 in the Book of Common Prayer. Be thou my judge, O Lord, for I have walked innocent. My trust hath been also in the Lord, therefore shall I not fall. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try out my reins and my heart. For thy loving kindness is ever before mine eyes, and I will walk in thy truth. I have not dwelt with vain persons, neither will I have fellowship with the deceitful. I have hated the congregation of the wicked, and will not sit among the ungodly. 
I will wash my hands in innocency, O Lord, and so will I go to thine altar. That I may show the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I dwell in the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwells. O oh, shut not up my soul with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty. In whose hands is wickedness, and their right hand is full of gifts. But as for me, I will walk innocently. O oh, deliver me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth right. I will praise the Lord in the congregations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Here we the 42nd chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Then all the captains of the forces, and Johanan, the son of Kareah, and Jezaniah, the son of Hoshiah, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest came near, and said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let, we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us, that the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God according to your words. And it shall come to pass, that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not even according to all things, for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called ye Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least even to the greatest, and said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, under whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you, and not pull you down, and I will plant you, and not pluck you up. For I repent thee of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord. For I am with you to save you, and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there we will dwell. And now therefore hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, if ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt, and go to sojourn there, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye fear shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die. Be ready for the first lesson. Thanks. Be the magnificent. <coughs> My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. Oh, 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thy Lord only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Take not thy Holy Spirit from us. God for the immigrants. O Almighty God, who hast committed to the hands of men the ministry of reconciliation, we humbly beseech thee, by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, to put it into the hearts of many to offer themselves for this ministry, that thereby mankind may be drawn to thy blessed kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. God, for the first Sunday in Advent. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to life immortal, through him who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, now and ever. Amen. Amen. A call for peace. O God, whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we be defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thy inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace, and full of the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to him with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time of one accord, to make our common supplications unto thee, and this promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, and may be most expedient for them. Granting us in this world knowledge of thy 